Hallelujah. If you've got your Bible tonight, I want you to take it out and lift it up. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. We're going to read uh, Luke chapter 8, verses uh, 4 through 15. Amen. And if you... Uh, hallelujah. 4 through 15. Whose house is this? Somebody say, this is my Father's house. My Father's house. Amen. This is my Father's house. Amen. This house belongs to Him, and I live for Him. Amen. And I need to realize that if, when I'm in my Father's house, that I need to live the way my Father wants me uh, to live. Amen. I know uh, uh, growing up, there are many times, especially as I became a, a teenager and got a little bit older, that my dad would always remind me that this is my house uh, and things are going to be done my way around here. And I'm sure there are parents here tonight who have used those uh, uh, same words. Uh, and I was thinking tonight as I was uh, meditating upon this uh, about how even I am very particular about uh, in my home, about the way things uh, are to happen, the way we're supposed to behave, and the way that we're supposed to, to do things in my home. Uh, but at the same time, uh, as a father and a parent, there are times when everyone doesn't do the way that I want them to do. and They may not be behaving in the manner uh, that I uh, expect them to behave, but I still love them. And I still care for them. And they may not be perfect. And I may feel like just, uh, you know, letting them know. Uh, but I'm not going to kick them to the street and tell them that I, I don't love them and they got to get out of there. Uh, uh, you know, I still love and care for my, my family. And the same is true about our Father. He loves us. He cares for us. Uh, uh, he does want us to love and to live for Him. But there are times that He understands that we are, uh, there's a struggle that we're going through. And He uh, is full of mercy and grace. And I'm so grateful for that tonight. Uh, thank you, oh, those who are here, those who have worshipped tonight and opened up your heart. I do feel a, a very special uh, spirit that is here uh, tonight, even so much to encourage me. Normally, I am, uh, uh, and I believe it's the video on, uh, Sister Holly is a video recording. Okay, well then I won't say anything. I'll just be very uh, positive. Everyone say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, Luke chapter 8, verses uh, 4 through 15. Brother Tobias, will you read uh, uh, 4, 5, and 6 for me very loudly if you can? I'm uh, reading out of the New Living Translation. That'll work. One day Jesus told a story in the form of a parable to a large crowd that had gathered from many towns to hear him. A farmer went out to plant his seed. As he scattered it across his field, some seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on. And the birds ate it. Other seed fell among rocks and it began to grow, but the plant soon wilted and died for lack of moisture. All right. Now, uh, Sister Jackie, will you read 7, 8, and 9 for me? And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. And others fell on ground on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit in a hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that hath ears, let him hear. And his disciples asked him, saying, What might his heart be? All right, now, Sister Gail, will you read uh, 10, 11, and 12 for me? I'm in the wrong chapter. All right. <laughs> right. We're in Luke chapter 8, okay? Oh, chapter 8. Okay. Uh, yes. Chapter 6. All right. All right. And he said, uh, verse 9 through 16. No, did it. What 10, 11, 12. Yeah, read 10, 11, and 12 for me, Sister okay. Gail. The knowledge of secrets of the kingdom of God has been given to you. But to others, I speak in parables. So that though seeing, they may not see. Though hearing, they may not understand. This is the meaning of the parable. The seed is the word of God. Those along with the path are the ones who hear. And then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts. So that they may not believe and be saved. All right. Now, Sister April, will you read 13, 14, and 15? They are the rock, are they? Which when they hear, receive the word with joy. And these 
have no root, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. And that which fell among thorns are they, which when they have heard, go forth, and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life, and bring no fruit to perfection. But that on the good ground are they, which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit and Patience. Everybody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. And tonight, uh, as we talk about living in our Father's house, uh, we're going to teach on hiding uh, the Word in our heart and how important it is uh, to hide this Word of God. And everyone say in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. God bless you as you are uh, seated tonight. Uh, and, and that little portion of Scripture lets us know a whole lot. Uh, uh, and you can look at your own life and see uh, uh, as you talk, read read about this parable right here, Brother Barrington, uh, uh, where we line up with this and this word that is cast forth every time we gather together, Brother Robin, and we hear the word of the Lord preached uh, and taught. Uh, uh, this word goes forth and it, it is uh, dependent upon us uh, on whether this ground is actually good or not. Uh, the seed is being cast out by the preaching and the teaching of the word, but now you are the one who is supposed to be working that ground and preparing it to, to make sure that that seed fall upon good ground. 1 John chapter 2 verses 3 through 5 says, and hereby we do know that we know him. That they're talking, it's talking about Jesus. We know Jesus. Everyone say amen. 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 So we do know him if we keep his commandments. You know, that's what I love about the Word of God uh, uh, very, very much. Uh, you see, we know Him. And we know that we know Him if we keep His commandments. That right there, just plain and simple, lets me know when I'm not keeping the Word of the Lord, when I'm not living up to the commandments, uh, I, I don't know Him the way that I'm supposed to know Him. You follow what I'm saying tonight? Uh, uh, verse 4 says, He that saith, I know Him, and keepeth not His commandments... Uh, is a liar. Ooh. Man, that, this, this is some pretty tough stuff. Uh, and the truth is not in him. And verse 5 says, But whoso keepeth his word in him, verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. Wow, it's some pretty tough stuff uh, uh, that is here as we read this word. This is a really, a really kind of hard, even for me, uh, uh, to, to really grab and, and wrap my mind about. Because, uh, And we'll get into this more and more as we... Uh, uh, get into this lesson tonight. Uh, uh, you know, man, if I love God, then I'm going to live, uh, you know, a life that, that, that is obvious that I love Him. And I, I show my love for Him by keeping His Word. And if I'm not keeping His Word, and please forgive me uh, because I don't have my glasses on and all of y'all look really, really blurry tonight. So if I'm looking at you tonight, it's not because I'm trying to uh, really connect with you. It's just I can't see you. Amen. So please don't think I'm uh, uh, picking on anybody tonight. Uh, uh, but if I love Him, wow, if I really love Him, uh, I'm going to keep uh, His Word. Uh, I want you to know tonight, uh, the Word of God, this book we call the Bible, is the greatest book in the world. Yes, it is. It's a book from God about God. It was penned by God's men uh, about how to be God's men and women. So if we want to be what God wants us to be, and we really want to be Christians, uh, then we need to know this word, Sister Holly. Amen. It contains the most dramatic and scholarly literature ever known. Within its pages, you'll find classical stories about love. Everyone say, ah. You'll find stories about adventure, war, and mystery. It also contains the best in poetry, history, human relations, and philosophy. But above all, it gives us God's plan for the salvation of men. The Bible is all about salvation. Everything that is in there. Uh, Christians uh, uh, should be a people of His book. If we claim to be Christians, we need to be in the Word. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Amen. Uh, to really know and to really love our Lord, we must know and love the book that reveals Him. 
Yes. We do not really love God more than we obey Him. Let me say this again. We do not really love God more than we obey Him. In other words, with the same measure that we obey Him, that's the same measure that we love Him. You know, oh, I love God with all of my heart. And yet, I don't follow His Word completely. Then guess what? I don't love God with all my heart. I'm talking, and I'm talking to I'm talking to Pastor Frank Dublin tonight. I'm not just uh, preaching to you uh, tonight. I'm, I'm, I want us to get a hold of this. Uh, we do not really obey Him more than we obey His Word. The Bible is God's Word, and if you believe it, say Amen. 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 Uh, it is unique in continuity. Uh, it is over a 1,600 year span of writing. And if you've been in our Abundant Life course, or if you've been in our, uh, uh, if you've been in our um, search for truth course, uh, you know all of this right here because we've studied.